Is 2017 the year you're going to drop way be a better mother? We're going to talk about <laughs> resolutions. And we're also going to call BS on that. And I think every gym in Canada is going to also call BS because they know three weeks into January, you're dropping they're off. Like, they're like, like, Mom, they're like dude, we're going to make it rain. <laughs> the strip club, come yeah. on. Oh, that's that's so so dirty. Dirty. Well, what do we think about resolutions? Do you make them, break them? Honestly, bother? i got to be honest. I don't make resolutions. I feel I suffer enough. I gave up resolutions about five kids ago. I already gave up. Sleeves, hot meals, <laughs> hot coffee, me time. Yeah. I don't feel like I need to give up anymore. And you know what? I guess I just feel like I'm always doing the best I can. Sometimes I mess up. I move on from it and try and do better next time. That can happen January 1st. It can happen December 31st. I, I personally don't. What about you? I, I do not believe in New Year's resolution. I think you're just setting yourself up for failure. If you want to make a change in your life, you should make a change in your life. I don't think that you should make it this loud, celebrated change because no one's perfect. We don't always achieve perfection the first time around. Like it doesn't always happen. As someone yeah. who is a smoker who quit okay. smoking, you know, it took me a couple goes to make such a big deal out of it. It's like, I, I felt like I let myself down. Well, the guilt so, that comes. You build this thing up, you tell everybody, you find it's February's coming, you're not going, you don't have time to go to the gym, mm -hmm. you don't want to go to the gym, or it's not really your thing. Yeah. And you end up just feeling like a failure and guilty, you're probably gonna eat a bag of Doritos. You just shouldn't do something because it's a New Year's resolution. If you want to get in shape and that's what you want to do, that should just be a life change. And you should say, you know what? I'm not healthy. I'm, I'm not sleeping well. I don't feel good about myself. I've got low energy. I'm going to change my lifestyle. I'm going to change the way I eat. Don't make it this pressure of a New Year's resolution. What about I your think. kids? Have you guys ever done New Year's resolution oh, to your kids? That wouldn't be more of like a comedy for Could me. you do more chores around the yeah. house? <laughs> Could you add one to your list? For, for me, it would just be like uh, the comedy of like, what's your New Year's resolution? Right. You could talk to them about fresh starts. Is there something you want to improve on? Do you want to get better at Lego this year? Arm circles. Yeah. Arm circles improve. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away. Lightning will strike any second. I don't want to be near you. But it's also a chance to have a conversation with them about fresh yeah. starts and yeah. resolutions and what the word means, why people do it. And, and yeah. what a year means and what the new year means. Yeah. I have this one kid, Posey. Sometimes she just, she'll give something up for a year. So now she's 15. When she was about 12, she said, this year I'm not going to drink any pop. I'm going to give up uh, budgets and math for <laughs> there you. Go. It's going to be really hard and you can track my success on YouTube. <laughs> I actually don't do your New Year's. We used to in my family. Obviously, they never work. <laughs> Giving up wine I is give never up wine. going to be yeah, one no. of them. What I do in September, it's not purposeful, but it's like a school year. That's yeah. a better New Year's to me. It's not a resolution. It's a goal. Like, okay, summer, I was carefree. I let everything go. Now I want to be organized right. again. I want to be on my huge. game. So yeah. I write a set of goals and I do like a work back plan. That helps keep me on track. But it's not it's a resolution. That's good. That might be a good practical way to do it. So the way I see this is like New Year's resolutions might be a good way to start. Make goals. So maybe that's why it's yeah. good to share that with your kids. Let them have goals. You can have family goals yeah. too. Yeah, family, we're going to do this together. We're going to be more active together. Whatever it is. I mean, we're going to turn our gadgets off once in a while. That's a good idea. This year I'm going to teach Maddie how to use a corkscrew. There, there you go. go. Not that's dangerous amazing. at all. <laughs> no. So what are you guys doing? Do you do New Year's resolutions? Do you not? Do your kids do them? How do you buy your gym yeah. membership? Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, all you people that go to the gym in January. I hate you. You're clogging uh, up the gym for yes, us. You're yeah. clogging up the gym. My mom, Catholic, would say about the Christmas church goers. They mm. take up all the seats. Where were they all year? Where's my pew? See, that's my resolution not to go to the gym. I'm going. <laughs> Subscribe and, and join us next week and let us know your comments and your thoughts. In sure. the box. Comments in the box. Hello. <laughs> in the box. We want comments See in the box. See you next week. Oh, cheers. cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. Uh, cheers, big ears. Cheers, big Back ears. at you. <laughs>